Hey, it's the Bob and Annie Show. I'm Bob. I'm Annie. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Welcome to another uh, broadcast. Here we are. And uh, we've got a lot of interesting things to talk about. Uh, I saw this in the news. Uh, there was a girl who has alopecia. And she had to have her head shaved. And which was sad enough for her. I mean, she likes to style her hair and everything. And then her boyfriend uh, ended up shaving his head as well, which is cool. Oh, that's sweet. That's really, really nice. Do you know what alopecia is? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't. <laughs> so alopecia is when uh, there's a, your hair falls out. It's a hormonal thing, I believe. Okay. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. I'll have to. We should. I'll have to fact it. check myself afterwards. Mm -hmm. So. But anyways, um, he shaved his head. He and... shaved his head in solidarity with her, and that's really, really sweet. So, would you do anything like that for me? Yes, I would. Would you? As much as I love my hair, if it made you happy, because you were depressed about it, I would shave my head. I'm, my, I'm depressed about my hair, Bob. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> Uh, but see, I I have, uh, you're always trying to get me to grow a beard. I am. I do. Beards are my favorite thing on men. I can't, right after hairy chest, so. Which I do it in the hockey season for the playoffs. The last playoff we had, we all grew beards on the team and we weren't doing well. We said that Saturday night, before the next game, let's shave our beards. And then the lockdown came and hockey was over. So I've not had a chance to grow a beard again. Well, And it's very, very, to. it's very sad for me because I love beards. I think it's the most handsomest, manliest man thing. And again, if you're into that, men, that is, <laughs> not necessarily hair. But if I were a boy. If you could grow a beard if as I a could lady, grow a you beard. would grow a beard, wouldn't you? Well, I'm already kind of growing a mustache. <laughs> it's terrible. But I looked up some facts. Do you know that uh, for, uh, what is it, in, in a man's lifetime, he spends more than five months shaving if so, he shaves all the time? So then don't do it. Don't do it. But they also said if a man was to never shave, his beard in his lifetime would grow 30 feet. 30 like, feet? 30 feet. Remember when the guy fell asleep on the Flintstones? <laughs> That, that was true. And that's not nice. You've got to tie it up. You've got to. But uh, yeah, other than that, sure, fine. I would shave my head, but I like my hair. Although I do need a haircut. Yeah. So since the lockdown happened, I have become Bob's stylist. Mm -hmm. Stylist of the stars. Really. I, used to, I used to cut my dad's hair. I still kind of cut my dad's hair every once in a while. The last time he came over for dinner, I cut his hair. Um, I cut my brother's hair in high school. I gave my one brother a mullet because that was the because style. You were mad. No, <laughs> that was the style. So I gave him a mullet. I cut the front and the top short and left the back long, probably about this long. Uh -huh. um, Billy Ray. It was very Billy Ray. Very very Billy uh -huh. Ray. See, I, I I can all I can say that uh, before George Clooney got into the Floby, I used to have. A Floby. When I was a kid, my mom would have the Floby, and that's how it was done. And Clooney says it's still a good system. Well, yeah. you get the razor. I have the razor, and it, it, you get the, the the book, and it makes it sound like you could do it yourself. And I see these clip-on things, but I'm always thinking, okay, if it pops off, all of a sudden I got a really good haircut. <laughs> I don't have to worry about shampoo anymore. No, no. So I we haven't gotten to that point though. Like I think I've done a pretty good job cutting your hair. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yeah. it, it's, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, right? And you're also a little mad because I don't have very much gray. My sideburns are seem to be the only things that go gray. And I'm afraid to cut them off because I think it'll go like wildfire. <sighs> so this is a part of the show where I get mad at you. Bob is significantly older than I am. I am not that much Significantly old. older. Oh. And... <laughs> erroneous and, <laughs> and in the time that we have been together this is we met in 2010 so we are now heading into our 11th year together i have tried to give you gray hair i have tried to stress well, done stress you out sides. just a little bit um don't know if you can tell but my hair is currently 
in an, a transition. You've given up on the, the I've, polish. I've given up on the shoe polish. I have dyed my hair since I was 17 years old. So when I was 17, this started on this side. It was a white streak, but the rest of it was black. So it was kind of cool. But then one time some kid in school called me a skunk and I said, well, that's the end of that. You used to have to pay good money for that kind of I did. Well, I, used to, I did a lot of box dye when I was a kid. Mm. But then when I grew up and got a job, then I started going to the hairstylist. Mm. And, um, but since lockdown, since the pandemic struck, in March of 2020. The last time I dyed my hair was March the 5th, 2020. So I am now almost a year of growth and it turns out that I have one heck of a lot of gray hair. You're trying to be the silver fox. I am a silver fox. Thank you very See, much. See, that's another thing about the beard. My beard grows in gray. And I everybody's know. like, oh, it really shows you dye your hair. I do not dye my <laughs> hair. I never have. He never ever has. I can 100% vouch for that. If he did dye his hair, I would be very, very happy to reveal that um, fact. But no, Bob Romeo has no gray hair. Well, there's like a couple, there's like maybe three or four because I look for them specifically when I'm cutting his hair. But years ago, you know, you, you turn 30 or whatever and people start joking around. From one of my friends, I got Grecian formula. Never opened it. It expired because I thought about using it on my beard once. <laughs> but it's expired. And I found it in our closet and I asked him, what, how old is this? You thought I was cheating. <laughs> yeah, cheating the system. <laughs> I could have dark hair tomorrow and I could have silver hair. You'd be, if I'd I switch. turned into Johnny Carson, you'd be like, oh. I'd 100% switch you. Yeah. It's nice to know that you would that you would switch hair with me. I would switch hair. And, and you'd shave your head. I would shave my head. If, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd shave my head. head. Really? After I did that, I put out that <laughs> olive branch and nothing. Wow. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I That's already. That's like giving <laughs> candy and flowers on a romantic holiday. It was just like, oh, I have some old bread for you on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know okay. if I would shave my head. I don't think I've ever. I've always. I've always threatened it in the past. I, I think it would look different if it, if. You know, you have longer hair if all of a sudden, but I don't have that long a well, hair. If I was to shave it off, although people do hassle me, I don't normally wear a baseball cap, but when I do, I can be in a room full of people with baseball caps. And someone came up to me once and said, Ooh, What's with the baseball cap? <laughs> I don't know. I wore a baseball cap. So I, I would probably stand out like a sore thumb, but I would do it for you if I had to. Oh, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. I won't even shave my head. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. Maybe are you rethinking that now? Well, I'll knowing think, that I'll I've think probably... about it for the next show. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see what other discussions we can get into on the next show. Uh, until next time, I'm Bob. I'm Annie. It's the Bob and Annie Show. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.